Now the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to verify the game files. So make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab and then click on verify integrated game files. Once the verification is complete, if there is any file missing, it will just re-download the files. So let this complete. Once this is 100% complete, now you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to launch the game from the Steam, not from the game installation folder. So if you're trying to launch the game from the game installation folder, you might receive some errors. So avoid using, avoid using this exe file. Instead, you can just click on play over here and then launch the game. Next step is to rename folders located here in this location. So first of all, you can open File Explorer in your computer. And when you rename these folders, all the saved settings will be lost. So open File Explorer, then go to this PC, open C drive. Now open users folder. Now open your username folder and then open app data folder. If you don't see app data over here, at the top click on view, select show, and then put a check on hidden items, and then you should be able to open app data folder. Now once you open app data folder, now open roaming and then AGS folder, roaming and then open the AGS folder, and here you can see new world folder. Now you can make a right click on new world, and then you can just rename it whatever you want. I will just rename it to newworld.old and then you can launch the game and then check. Still not working, then go to this location. So you can go back, go back and go open this local. And over here, you also you will find the AGS folder and then you can rename this folder as well. .old and then you can launch the game and then check. Also delete the temporary folder from this location. So you can go back and go back to local and in local folder find the temp folder. So here you can see temp, make a right click and then delete this folder. Because though something is okay. So let me select everything over here and delete. And you can skip this. And once this is done, now you can launch the game and then check. Now, the next step is to un uncheck administrator from the game exe file. So you can make a right click on the game, manage browse local files, and open this bin 64. Make a right click on the game exe file, select properties, go to this tab, and if run this program as an administrator, you check uncheck this box, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game, and then check. Next step is to Try DX11 or DX12 in launch option. So you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, and in the go to general tab. In the launch option, type in dash DX11. And then you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. Then this time you can go to properties and type in dash DX12. And then you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. You can remove this. Follow the next step. Now the next step is to Repair easy anti cheat. Now, for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select manage, now click on browse local files, and now open easy anti cheat folder. And here you can see easy anti cheat setup file. Now, make a double click on easy anti cheat setup file, click on yes to allow, and over here you will see game 271. So, you have to select this 271. I think this is new world game, and once you select it, now click on install easy anti-cheat. And you can finish. And then you can, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working, then make a double click once again, click on yes. And this time you can click on, uh, you can select it. If you see the repair service, click on repair service. And then click on finish. Now launch the game and then check. Still not working, open easy anti-cheat file once again. And this time select 271 and then click on uninstall. Uninstall it and then click on install easy anti cheat. Once done, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. This time click on select the select 271 and then click on uninstall. Once the uninstall is complete, close close this. Do not install from here. Launch the game.
and then it during the launch it will install easy anti cheat click on yes to allow and when you launch the game during the launch it will install easy anti cheat and you should be able to launch the game still not working the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card make sure that you select uh, your graphic card over here so once you select your graphic card then select your operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on find now once you click on find it will go to another page and over here you can see at the top geforce game ready driver so the latest right now is 565.90 so you can click on view and then you can click on download now once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check over here and then click on next and let the installation complete once this is complete restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check now if you have amd card first of all uninstall the current graphic card driver which is installed in computer so uninstall the current one current graphics card driver of amd and then restart your computer and after the system restart you can go to amd website select your graphic card and then install the latest graphic card driver and then again restart the computer and after the system restart you can launch the game next step is for laptop users with dual graphic card make sure that you run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this you can type in graphic settings in windows search box and then go to graphic settings now over here click on add desktop app now open the drive wherever the game is installed if it is installed in c drive open program file 686 now open the steam folder now open the steam apps folder now open the common folder open the new world folder and select all the exe file select this click on add again click on add desktop app and then open this bin 64 this is important open bin 64 select this new world and then click on add now once it is added you can find the game in the list you can scroll down and find the game if you don't find the game you can just type in new world over here and then let me check yeah new world now click on this down arrow yeah now you can select high performance your nvidia or amd graphic card so select high performance over here now you can launch the game and then check next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to antivirus program if you're using windows security then open windows settings go to privacy and security if you have windows 11 in windows 10 click on update and security and then click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through controlled folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app now click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder steam steam apps common select all the exe file click on open click on add a new add an allowed app open bin and then open new world once it is added now type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel go to system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings at the top click on allow another app click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder open bin 64 select this exe file click on open now click on add once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to increase the virtual memory 
So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive. So uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case it's 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case it's 16 RAM 16 GB. So 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total RAM this is my total RAM in megabyte now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152 49152 49152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to is to update windows to the latest version now for this open windows settings go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game next step is to install visual c file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in the browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website you will see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 Download both x86 and x64. You have to install these two files. So run this exe file. Now click on it. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. Now download this x64 file as well. Again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. Click on yes to allow and let the installation complete. Make sure both are installed. Once both are installed, then restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. After the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to update the system BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website. So if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell website. If you have a Lenovo, go to Lenovo. So go to your system manufacturer website and then select your model number. Make sure that you, you select your computer and then f go to drivers and download page and just find the latest BIOS, install it. But in case of laptop, when you update the system BIOS, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter, the charger is connected to the computer. During the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Now the next step is to unplug all the external devices which you're not using. So if you have photos, wheel, pedals or any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnect it. Also disconnect extra controller connected to the computer. Sometimes we have extra controller connected, disconnect it. Disconnect multiple monitor, try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any third party services or application running, close it. And also 
disable steam overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties and then turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game turn this off also close other overlay application like if you have discord running you can go to discord settings and turn off overlay if you have geforce experience running you can go to settings and then turn off in game overlay so close all all the overlay application and then launch the game also close all the overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner revert you know or any kind of overclocking application running close it also if you have undervolted you can be remove the undervolt and then launch the game the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game install the game to ssd so make a right click on the game and then select manage now click on uninstall now after the uninstall go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder restart your computer and then install the game to c drive and make sure c drive is ssd so try to install if the game is installed to d drive e drive any other drive in that case install the game to c drive that is ssd if the game is already installed to c drive then try to install the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel